these round balls are just a little bit awkward to weigh but it comes out at 8.2 I've tried a few over there and they either run around and roll off the weighing scales but they've all come out at 8.2 so now I've got to weight and I've got a speed I'll just calculate the power ratio that I get with the rifle the gamo ball was fairly consistent I shall use the highest speed, a 768, multiply that by itself again, and multiply that by the weight, and that was 8.2, and then I divide that by 450, 240, and that gives me the power. It's over 10 foot pound at 10.7 foot pound. These are the gamo balls, that's an unfired one, nice and round, no shape to it. I found that it wasn't very accurate, but I did find that these penetrated quite well. So if they just happen to be accurate in your rifle, you might find a good use for these. There's some that's deformed just a very small amount there. They certainly don't seem to just flatten out. Obviously if they hit a very hard s surface they would flatten out and form into a cornflake. But on the whole it just gives a flat area to the round ball and not much else. There are a few examples here that's more flatter than others and if you closely inspect them you can spot on some occasions there's some rifling marks on the ball itself and those that's got the flat part to indicate how they hit you'll notice that sometimes the rifling is across the back of the rain part or very close there's an example there I think where you can make out it's now on the flat part and there's some rifling marks to it, I don't know if it's going to come up very clear on the recording but there are clear indications that once the rifling marks are in there and it's spun through the barrel it doesn't always fly in a straight line, the pellet itself, the ball will sort of tumble so you can't really guarantee that the rifling marks stay around it with the front part there the rear part there hitting the target as you'd expect from a normal pellet the rifling seems to indicate it will tumble through the air perhaps that's an indication why they're not so accurate but for close range if you find they're accurate and you want something that penetrates I found that these balls seem to penetrate quite well compared to a lot of other pellets and as they deform a little bit it might be okay for some targets some hunting targets I should say but for general targets I can't see the point really no, well nor can I for, uh, for hunting but I think it's worth getting some of these perhaps just to experiment just to try just to find out something a little bit different but I personally found them a waste of time